Hey, what's up everyone? The MetaQuest V62 update just started rolling out today, so we're going to take a look and see exactly what it's bringing to the Quest platform, including some very apple style things that are kind of a copycat of what Apple's doing with the Vision Pro, or at least allowing us to do some things on the Quest that the Vision Pro supports as well. A little more informal and relaxed this time around, but let's take a look and see exactly what this update is bringing. So taking a look at the blog post, you can see it says January's in the rearview mirror and our V62 software update is starting to roll out, bringing with it spatial video or stereoscopic video playback, better support for web-based gaming, and more. So first up is spatial video, which is what Apple is calling the stereoscopic 3D playback of videos inside of the Apple Vision Pro. Essentially, if you've got an iPhone 15, you can record spatial videos, I believe, and they're kind of like a 3D video that you can move your head around and see kind of inside the world. It's almost like looking through a frame into a 3D environment and you're gonna be able to watch those videos that are taken on the iPhone 15 on your Quest with the, the V62 update. It says, introducing spatial video playback on MetaQuest. We're thrilled to announce support for spatial video playback on MetaQuest. Mark Zuckerberg actually posted a little while ago on Instagram this video you're seeing here of him testing it out. Uh, it looks interesting to say the least. I'll have to try it. It's one of those things you have to try in the headset to really get a feel for how it actually looks. There's actually a, a demo video that you're going to be able to watch on the Quest without having to record anything spatial so you can actually see how it works and how it looks, but we'll get to that in just a second. It says if you have an iPhone 15 Pro or iPhone 15 Pro Max, you can now upload spatial videos, aka stereoscopic videos, to your MetaQuest headset using the MetaQuest mobile app, letting you relive the moment with surprising depth. Depth. With this new feature, you can experience your memories and media content like never before. Once uploaded, the content will be converted for playback on MetaQuest hardware and stored in the cloud. So you won't have to worry about keeping the files on your device. It'll be stored in a cloud for you to rewatch the version designed for spatial playback. When you put on your MetaQuest headset, simply select the spatial video content in the Files menu for an immersive viewing experience. You can manage your spatial video content from either the MetaQuest mobile app gallery or in the Spatial Videos section of the Files menu in your headset. To give you a taste of what spatial video has to offer, we made a demo video available for viewing on your MetaQuest headset in the Spatial video section of the Files menu. Demo videos are available to all MetaQuest users. Immerse yourself in a whole new world of memories and media with spatial videos on MetaQuest. I hope that the demo video is this dog, this husky that you're seeing here in this sample image, because I love dogs and I love huskies. My aunt used to raise huskies and I just love that breed of dog. Uh, I hope that that's what the demo video is. I haven't had a chance to actually jump in and see if it's on my Quest yet. I don't think I've even gotten version 62 yet, but there's a cool update that just kind of keeps it on par with what Apple's doing with the Vision Pro and allows us to watch those spatial videos. It kind of negates the fact that that's a selling point for the Vision Pro by adding it to the Quest 3, although the hardware is faster and visuals are supposed to be better on the Apple Vision Pro, but we'll find out tomorrow when I finally get mine in the mail. Also coming, it says Game On Web-Based Games on MetaQuest. The MetaQuest browser now supports external game pads, including PlayStation, Xbox, and many more. We've also enhanced MetaQuest support to include PlayStation 5 DualSense wireless controllers and a PlayStation 4 DualShock, giving you even more options for gaming in VR. Now, I'm guessing that that means that the PS5 controllers can now be used for Xbox Cloud Gaming, but we're gonna keep reading. Just connect via Bluetooth or USB-C and enjoy countless high quality games like Halo Infinite or Forza Horizon 5 with the Xbox Cloud Gaming beta app. Okay, there you go right there. So that means that if you've got Xbox Cloud Gaming and a PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5 controller now, it'll work, which is awesome. And hopefully that'll allow more people to jump in and play. It does have the asterisk there that says all you need for Xbox Cloud Gaming beta is your MetaQuest 2 Pro or 3 and an Xbox Game Pass Ultimate membership with a supported controller and high speed internet. That seems like it should be obvious, but that's always there just to make sure people know. It says, with this update, you can experience your favorite games in a whole new way and take your gaming experience to the next level, Happy Gaming, which is just another update to allow for even more support for controllers and web-based controller gaming, which I'm not really sure what you would do for web-based. Maybe comment down below and let me know what I can play in a browser that is using a controller. Maybe there's games that they're designed to play that way. Maybe there's cloud-based gaming that you can access in the cloud in a browser that you can play with a controller. 
controller? I don't know. I don't, I don't know enough about flat cloud-based gaming to really say for sure, but I'm sure some people do, so let us know in the comments what we could be playing. Also, Facebook Live Streaming for All, originally introduced in V56. We're excited to share that this feature is now available to all MetaQuest users. Now you can easily share your VR exploits with friends in real time by going live on Facebook while in headset. And it shows a video here, which you can see on the screen right now. To get started, just add your Facebook account to the same account center as your Meta account, and you'll be good to go. Once in VR, select Go Live from the camera icon in the Universal menu. This feature has been redesigned for a seamless and easy-to-use experience with high quality video output and persistent access to live chat panels so you can stay connected with friends and followers through your stream. So a way to stream to Facebook, which was introduced a little while ago, but apparently it's been streamlined and works better. Something I'll have to test and play around with as well. Also YouTube live streaming and chat. It says attention creators staying connected with your audience just got a lot more fun. We're making YouTube chats visible in your MetaQuest headset while live streaming. So this feature has been kind of in beta or whatever, and I've had access to it for a while, but it's officially coming to a public access now. Now you can see and engage with your audience while staying fully immersed in VR. Just make sure your live stream is public and that you're using OBS software. So you gotta use OBS for a casted browser on your PC to YouTube, and then you can see your chat. Doesn't work, unfortunately, directly to YouTube, but I've talked about that before. Also some single action, quick gesture things, which is also kind of Apple-y with the way they've, they're, they're doing this. And I imagine in the long run, we're gonna see a lot more um, gaze-based interactions, even if it's not eye gaze, and then maybe in the next iteration we'll see eye-based interactions, and then the little, you know, the click, the light, the light, the light, the little tap, you know, that, that, that they're saying the Vision Pro requires. This says, finally we're introducing a new and improved way to access the most commonly used actions in your MetaQuest headset. <clears throat> Rather than having to navigate through a menu, you can now perform these actions by looking down at your palm and performing one simple gesture. Just a short pinch to show and hide the universal menu, or a long pinch to recenter the display. This feature gives you control over using a simplified interactions or the more full-fledged quick actions menu. If you'd like to continue using the quick action menu for system actions like taking photos or muting your microphone, you can re-enable it in settings, movement tracking, and expanded quick actions. So those are just a couple of different things that they're doing. Looks like you can look at your palm, quickly tap your hand, and it brings up the menu instead of, what was the other action you used to have to do? You have to hold it, right? And it would bring up the menu. Now it's a quick tap and then a hold to recenter yourself, which is cool because I don't think they had a recentering before. I think you had to go into the menu and recenter if you had hand tracking on, which is cool. It also says to check out the release notes for a more comprehensive look at the changes, but as far as I know, the release notes aren't there yet. They're, they're, the last release notes are for version 60. We've skipped 61, I think. Now we're at 62. But that's really what's updated for the Quest. There's also a uh, spatial video for MetaQuest V62. I'll share a link in the description that Boz shared, Andrew Bosworth. It's actually a, a spatial video you can test. I don't know if this is the specific one they're talking about, but it says Meta CTO and head of Reality Labs, Andrew Boz Bosworth, talks about spatial video support with MetaQuest 62 and shares a sample spatial video. So I don't know what this is. I haven't watched it, but you can go to the link and then hit watch in device or watch later, and you can watch it in your Quest 2, 3, or Pro. Let me know down below if any of these things are striking home for you, if there's something that you're interested in, if you're going to be utilizing, you know, spatial videos. It'll be cool to download them. I think downloading them off the internet will be more likely. Like, I don't have an iPhone 15 Pro or Pro Max, maybe you do, but I'm curious to just kind of find some files that people have created online, download them, and upload them just to, to see how they work. But let me know what you think down in the comments. Thanks so much for just hanging out with me in this kind of chill video and checking out the new update. Don't forget to subscribe for more VR and Quest content, and as always, Thanks so much for watching, and happy questing.